Hello, I'm going to be doing another tutorial um, using Crossloop. Uh, what Crossloop is is a program that lets you take over a friend's computer, um, gives you control over their computer so you can help them out, or maybe if you want someone to offer their assistance to help you, it's a good program to use that as well. Crossloop is secure. Um, you want to open up your web browser. Go to crossloop. You could either type in crossloop.com or go to Google, type in crossloop. Um, I'm going to have the link in the description bar anyways. Click on search. Brings you to the website. Crossloop is free. Right here. Just click on download. And download it. I already have it installed. Um, if you're going to be the person providing help to your friend. You're going to have to create an account. After you create an account on the website, click on welcome. And here you can invite someone to share their screen. Maybe a friend of yours is having trouble. If they give you their email address, you could type it in and it'll automatically direct them to download Crossloop or you can tell them to download Crossloop themselves. Either way, it'll still work. Depends if the computer is more computer illiterate or not. You both have to start up Crossloop. Now it has two tabs. Share for the person who's going to be sharing their computer with you or access the person who's going to be providing assistance. I'm going to go through both steps, share and access, so you can see how is it going to look on both sides. Alright, let's say I'm going to be providing assistance. So I'm going to be on access. On the other side, the person is going to be on share. They're going to tell you the access code and I have my laptop set up so the access code right now for my laptop is going to be 636046 now you're both going to get connect a uh, button that says connect you're both going to have to click on it if the person does not click connect then you will not be able to share um, your screen their screen with each other waiting for approval you have to give it a couple of seconds so it can synchronize there we go now this is my, my, on my laptop computer so as you can see on my laptop I'm on Yahoo If you want, I could always close this down. You can see their desktop. Maybe I could help them out with a program, try to install it or show them. Um, if you guys are not communicating by phone, email, or instant messenger, um, you could always open up Notepad from their computer. We just type in there. Windows Vista makes it simple for you. And you guys could just type over here. Now you both will have control over the mouse. 
So if the other person on the other side, let's say on my, on my laptop, I could also control the mouse. Now to disconnect, the user still has cross loop running on the side. All they have to do is press disconnect to stop it. Or you yourself could press the X button to close it down. I'll just press the X button. It closes down automatically and cross loop will do a little survey um, on their side. Now to show you the share side, if they're going to be taking over my computer, if they're going to be providing the help, I'll give them my access number, which is 5799-3010-7961. They press connect. I also have to press connect. So if you're going to be sharing your computer, Crossloop's going to show a warning asking to make sure if you would like to connect and share control of your computer. You have a little button here that says view only where they could only view your screen. They can't actually move your mouse or anything. More for security reasons if you don't really trust a person. But I'll give myself control. I trust myself give it a couple seconds to synchronize alright um, you cannot see everything that's on my whole desktop on my laptop however you can see me starting up applications and I could show them or they can show me what to do from the lap where they're at Like I was saying, um, the button right here to disconnect. Once you press disconnect, window will close down. We'll turn back to normal. And you will get a cross loop feedback card. Uh, would you use cross loop with this person again? I would say yes, because I'm pretty amazing. In the session, I provided help, I received help, I collaborated. Uh, I did both. I'll just say I collaborated. Maybe you want to enter in a comment saying this person was awesome. After that, press submit. It will go to the website. Give the person some ratings. Now, cross loop is secure. This access code will change every time you start it up. For instance, if I was to close this out right now, as you can see, it's fifty-seven ninety-nine. The beginning of the first four. Start it up again. Make sure you press no here. You do not want cross loop to start at the when you every time you start up your computer, it will slow down your computer. You just want to run it when you want to. As you can see, the access code has changed. It is very secure. You both have to press connect. And this is my tutorial on how to use cross loop to help a friend. Any questions, comments, concerns, just give me a message or leave a comment.